Hong Kong cuisine is mainly influenced by Cantonese cuisine, European cuisines, especially British cuisine, and non-Cantonese Chinese cuisines, especially Hakka, Teochew, Hokkien and Shanghainese, as well as Japanese, Korean and Southeast Asian cuisines, due to Hong Kong's past as a British colony and a long history of being an international port of commerce. From the roadside stalls to the most upscale restaurants, Hong Kong provides an unlimited variety of food and dining in every class. Complex combinations and international gourmet expertise have given Hong Kong the reputable labels of gourmet paradise and world's fair of food. Background Modern Hong Kong has a predominantly service-based economy, and restaurant businesses serve as a main economic contributor. With the third densest population per square meters in the world and serving a population of 7 million, Hong Kong is host to a restaurant industry with intense competition. Due to its small geographical size, Hong Kong contains a high number of restaurants per unit area. With Cantonese ethnicity making up 94% of the resident population, Cantonese cuisine is naturally served at home. A majority of Chinese in Hong Kong are Cantonese in addition to sizable numbers of Hakka, Teochew and Shanghainese peoples, and home dishes are Cantonese with occasional mixes of the other three types of cuisines. Rice is predominantly the main staple for home meals. Home ingredients are picked up from local grocery stores and independent produce shops, although supermarkets have become progressively more popular. Hong Kong homes and kitchens tend to be small due to a high population density, and traditional Chinese cuisine often requires the freshest possible ingredients, so food shopping is undertaken frequently and in smaller quantities than is now usual in the West. Takeout and dining out is also very common, since people are often too busy to cook with an average 47-hour work week. History 19th century, colonial origins The cuisine of Hong Kong traces its origins to its founding as a British colonial outpost in 1841. Soon after the colony was founded, many British and other Western merchants along with Chinese from nearby Guangzhou flocked there to conduct business. Initially, much of Hong Kong society was segregated into expatriate Westerners, a majority of working-class Chinese coolies, Chinese farmers and fishermen, and Chinese merchants. The simple peasant cuisine was rudimentary compared to the cuisine of 19th century Canton, now commonly known as Guangzhou. As the colony developed, there arose a need for meals to entertain businessmen. Some Chinese restaurants were founded in the late 19th century and early 20th century as branches of renowned restaurants in Canton and offered elaborate meals consisting of traditional Chinese. Eight main courses and eight entrees. Ba Da Ba Shao types of banquets for two tails of silver, at the time equal to a clerk's monthly wage. Before 1935 when prostitution was still legal in Hong Kong, female escorts often accompanied diners to restaurant meals, especially those of a business entertainment nature. Until World War II, opium was also offered. For the majority of Chinese who were not part of the merchant class, dining out in restaurants was non-existent and consisted of simple Cantonese country fairs. Meat only appeared in festive occasions and celebrations such as birthdays were often done by catering services who prepared the meals at the celebrant's home. The restaurant scene for Europeans in Hong Kong was segregated from Chinese dining. Elaborate colonial dining existed at the likes of Hong Kong Hotel and subsequently Gloucester Hotel. 1920s, Cantonese influence Hong Kong's dining lagged behind the then leader of Chinese cuisine, Canton, for a long time and many Hong Kong chefs spent their formative years in Canton. Canton was renowned for its food, and there was a traditional saying of, the food is in Canton. Shizai Guang. Cantonese cuisine in Canton reached its peak during the 1920s and was renowned in the care and preparation even for peasant fairs such as Char Shao or Boat Kanji. Dasanyuan was renowned for its braised shark fin dish that charged 60 silver yuan, equivalent to six months' wage for a working class family. The Guangdong cooking style eventually trickled down to the culinary scene in Hong Kong. 
1949, Shanghainese and Western influences The victory of Chinese Communists in the Chinese Civil War in 1949 created a wave of refugees into Hong Kong. A sizable number of refugees were from non-Cantonese-speaking parts of China, including the Yangtze River Delta, and introduced Shanghai cuisine to Hong Kong. On the other hand, most renowned chefs of Canton, now known as Guangzhou in pinyin romanization, settled in Hong Kong to escape from communist rule in mainland China. Prostitution and opium had by then long faded from the restaurant scene, and to survive, many restaurants started to tap into winning business from families by offering yum cha and wedding banquets, while on the other hand, the end of strict colonial segregation by the British colonial government and expatriate Westerners after the Second World War opened up Western fare to the Chinese. Egg tarts and Hong Kong-style milk tea soon became part of Hong Kong's food culture. It could be argued that the seeds of Hong Kong society as understood today were not sown until 1949, and the cuisine of Hong Kong has its direct roots in this period. 1960s to 80s – Prosperity by the 1960s, Hong Kong was past the worst of the economic depression, and there was a long and continuous period of relative calm and openness compared to the communist rule in Mao Zedong-era China and martial law isolation in Taiwan. The Cantonese cuisine in Hong Kong had by then surpassed that of Guangzhou, which had witnessed a long period of decline after the communists came to power. The rising prosperity from the mid-1960s had given birth to increasing demand for quality dining. Many of the chefs, who spent their formative years in pre-communist Guangzhou and Shanghai, started to bring out the best of fine dining specialties from pre-1949 Guangzhou and Shanghai. Families had largely abandoned catering services and resorted to restaurants for celebratory meals. Seafood started to become specialized delicacies in the 1960s, followed by game in the 1970s. This wave of prosperity also propelled Hong Kong Chinese awareness of foreign food trends, and many were willing to try foreign ingredients such as asparagus and crayfish from Australia. Foreign food styles such as Japanese and Southeast Asian cuisine started to influence local food, and the pace of change accelerated during the late 1970s and early 1980s. This gave birth to Nouvelle Cantonese cuisine, Chinese, Xin Pai Yu Kai Cantonese Yale, Sanpai Yuchoi, that incorporated foreign dishes such as sashimi into Cantonese banquets. For the first time, many Hong Kong Chinese started to have the economic means to visit many Western restaurants of the domain of mainly wealthy expatriate Westerners such as Gaddy S of the Peninsula Hotel. During these years, there was great wealth growth from stock market investments, and one visible manifestation of the resultant nouveau riche mentality in 1970s Hong Kong were sayings such as, "...mixing shark's fin soup with rice", Chinese, Yu Kai Lao Fan Cantonese Yale, Yu Chi Lu Fan. 1980–90s, links with mainland China and Taiwan China initiated economic reforms when Deng Xiaoping came to power after Mao Zedong died. The opening up of the country gave chefs from Hong Kong chances to re-establish links with chefs from mainland China severed in 1949 and opportunities to gain awareness of various regional Chinese cuisines. Many of these cuisines also contributed to Nouvelle Cantonese cuisines in Hong Kong. The lift of martial law in Taiwan in 1987 jump started Taiwanese links with mainland China and has caused a proliferation of eateries specializing in Taiwanese cuisine in Hong Kong as Taiwanese tourists and businessmen used Hong Kong as a midpoint for visits to mainland China. From 1978 until 1997, there was no dispute Hong Kong was the epicenter of Chinese, not merely Cantonese, cuisine worldwide, with Chinese restaurants in mainland China and Taiwan, and among overseas Chinese communities racing to employ chefs trained or worked in Hong Kong and emulating dishes improvised or invented in Hong Kong. Hong Kong-style Cantonese cuisine Cantonese Yale, Gongsik Yuchoi, became a coinword for innovative Chinese cuisine during this period. It was even unofficially rumored the Chinese government had secretly consulted the head chef for the Peking Garden Restaurant of Hong Kong, part of the Maxim. S restaurant and catering conglomerate to teach chefs back at the renowned Quanjude restaurant in Beijing how to make good Peking duck, Quanjude. 
S signature dish in the early 1980s as the skills to produce the dish were largely lost during the cultural revolution. Post 1997 after Hong Kong was returned to China in 1997, the Asian financial crisis and SARS epidemic led to a decade-long depression. The boom in Hong Kong culinary scene came to a halt and many restaurants were shuttered, including a number of renowned eateries such as Sun Tung Lok. It is argued that the catch-up in prosperity among populations from coastal regions of China, particularly the Nouveau Riche derogatory Chinese, DAAI Fun Da Quan and corrupted officials derogatory Chinese, DAAI Yi Da Ye, has driven up the demand of many delicacies such as abalone and grouper, and many celebratory dishes have become outrageously expensive that they are beyond the reach of even many upper-middle class Hong Kong families. At the same time, Hong Kong people S tastes have become cosmopolitan when compared with one generation ago. Many are now able to appreciate specific European cuisines rather than one generic Western cuisine, and appreciation of other Asian cuisines, especially Japanese cuisine and Thai cuisine has been ever increasing. These have produced a proliferation of many specialist ethnic cuisine restaurants geared towards young middle-class couples on one hand, and a consolidation of fine dining Cantonese restaurants on the other. As of the early 21st century Hong Kong, notwithstanding the partial recovery of Hong Kong, S economy from the slump in 2003 due to the SARS epidemic, many pundits argue that contemporary Hong Kong S economy is heavily skewed towards real estate development and financial services. This provides prosperity to only a select few minority and an uncertain long-term economic fortune vis-a-vis -vis more diversified mega-rich cities in China such as Shanghai and Guangzhou, and the territory therefore no longer possesses the economic base to support mass-level super-fine dining that is required to sustain an active dining culture. A common perception of Hong Kong's current culinary culture is one being in decline and resting on past laurels. For example, culinary magazines such as Eat and Travel Weekly report fewer fundamentally new dishes being invented in Hong Kong post-2000 than the 1980s heyday, and many restaurants tend to resort to popularize oat dishes invented in the 1980s. Modern Hong Kong S labor market has also disrupted the traditional ways of grooming Chinese chefs, which henceforth been trained in a very long and drawn one-to-one -one practical apprenticeships. Very few chefs are willing to sacrifice their time and effort to produce traditional cooking that discourages cutting corners, and emphasizes techniques over ingredients. Net economic worth. On the other hand, a minority of optimistic pundits argue Hong Kong may well develop a foodie culture similar to other developed economies and preserve the best of traditional cooking. Historically, Hong Kong's food source came from a combination of mini stores instead of supermarkets. Some of the stores included rice dealers, Chinese, Mipu Cantonese Yale, Maipu, serving as mini rice storage warehouses, wine shops, Chinese, Ban Guan Cantonese Yale, Bon Gun, which offered beverages, convenience stores, Chinese, Shi Duo Cantonese Yale, Saido, Cantonese rendering of store, which were single convenience stores, most notable for serving fresh baked bread. The main component was wet markets Chinese, Jia Shi Cantonese Yale, Ga Isa One of the first market gatherings in Hong Kong was Central Market that began in the 1840s. The idea of a single facility or supermarket that provided all food ingredients did not take place until the early 1970s when Welcome, a local grocery chain, changed its format into a supermarket. Air-conditioned supermarkets did not become standardized until the 1980s. The early 21st century Western environmentalism or sustainability inspired food trends, such as natural food, organic food, non genetically modified food, local food, and farmer's markets, have been ignored by a majority of Hong Kong's populations. The Western farmer's market share some similarities with the traditional Chinese wet markets, however, support of wet markets is largely based on traditional Chinese cultural preference rather than sustainability, and wet markets contain many features that are condemned by modern Western environmentalists on the grounds of animal cruelty, live animals sold for food, and high food miles, fruits and seafood from another continent.
Eating habits Most restaurant serving sizes are considerably small by international standards, especially in comparison to most Western nations like the United States and Canada. The main course is usually accompanied by a generous portion of carbohydrates such as rice or main, noodles. People generally eat five times a day. Dinner is often accompanied with desserts. Snack time also fits anywhere in between meals. As Hong Kong is Cantonese in origin and most Hong Kong Chinese are immigrants or descendants of immigrants from Cantonese-speaking regions of China, the food is a variant of Cantonese cuisine, almost all home cooking and much of the dine-out fares, from restaurant to bakery, are Cantonese or heavily Cantonese-influenced, most of the celebrated food in Hong Kong such as the wife cake, roast duck, dim sum, herbal tea, shark's fin and abalone cooking, poached chicken, and the mooncake, and others, originated in nearby Guangzhou, and Dai Pai Dong was an institution adopted from the southern Chinese city. As in the parent cuisine, the Hong Kong Cantonese cuisine accepts a wide variety of ingredients, a lighted seasoned taste. Unlike Guangzhou, the uninterrupted contacts Hong Kong has with the West has made it more susceptible to Western influences, and has produced favorites such as egg tarts and Hong Kong-style milk tea. In addition, other foreign styles of cuisines are also popular in the territory, although almost all offer one of generic Western, authentic, international, or Hong Kong style, Italian, French, Korean, Japanese, Thai, Vietnamese, Indian, Indonesian, Malaysian and Singaporean cuisines. Eating etiquette Most East Asian cuisines, with the exception of fusion and Thai, are consumed exclusively with chopsticks. The more Western-style cuisines favor cutlery. Some meals are more suited for the use of hands. One notable trend in restaurants is the limited number of napkins provided during a meal. Most mid-to-low-tier restaurants operate under the assumption that customers bring their own napkins or tissue packs when dining. Ingredients Similar to Cantonese cuisine elsewhere, Hong Kong's cooking uses a wide variety of ingredients and the common ones include Styles Chinese and other Asian Western Non-service based Non-service-based items are food that do not require cooking or any chef services. They are usually imported, cultivated or produced. It is identical if served outside of Hong Kong. Chinese and other Asian styles Hawker These are basically street-side food stalls, operated by usually one or two people pushing a cart. The carts are usually very mobile, allowing the business freedom to sell snacks in whichever area is most populated at a particular point in time. While they have been popular in the 1970s and 1980s, tight health regulations and other forms of lease versus licensed hawker restrictions have put a burden on this mobile food culture. The term Jau Gui became associated with the hawkers trying to avoid restrictions. Includes Fish ball Put chai ko Roasted chestnuts Specialty shops Specialty stores are usually dedicated to selling a certain type of snack or dried goods. If the focus is on beef jerky for example, the store will offer 10 to 20 different types of the highest grade and quality. During holiday times, speciality stores are sometimes the premier place for purchasing food gift items. Sun-dried goods and Chinese candy are also common merchandise found. Includes Beef jerky Almond biscuit Dried shredded squid Hong Kong-style fast food Hong Kong-style fast food is either served in fast casual restaurants such as Café de Coral, Maxims and Fairwood or in food courts typically attached to malls or supermarkets such as City Super. The food offered is a mix of Kanto Western cuisine see Hong Kong-style Western cuisine below, Cantonese fares, and increasingly Asian food from outside China. Includes 
Pork cutlet, Japanese inspired. Kai lan, Chinese broccoli, with oyster sauce, Cantonese. Baked pork chop rice, Western, specifically British, inspired. Chinese pastry. Hong Kong style Chinese pastry offers a plethora of choices for the discerning taster. Depending on location, some shops may carry a wider selection than others, and some may bake goods on the premise while others have it delivered from an off site bakery. Most bakeries carry standard fare such as pineapple buns and egg tarts. During the mid autumn festival, moon cakes are one of the hottest sellers. Pastries are baked fresh daily, and sometimes throughout the day, and it is said that Hong Kong people have taste buds so sophisticated that they can tell the difference between something baked one hour versus five hours ago. Includes Wife cake Jin Deui Cream bun Cuisine, Cantonese as the most predominant cultural group in Hong Kong, Cantonese food forms the backbone of home cooking and dine out scenes. Many early celebrated Cantonese restaurants, including Thai San Yuan, Luck Yu Tea House, were originally Hong Kong branches of the famed Guangzhou based restaurants, and most chefs in Hong Kong until the 1970s had spent their formative years working in the restaurant industry in Guangzhou. Most of the celebrated dishes in Hong Kong were introduced into the territory through Guangzhou, often refined with awareness of international tastes. Cantonese food prices perhaps cover the widest range, from the small businesses Lu Mei to the most expensive abalone delicacies, which involve abalone. One well-developed dish in Cantonese cuisine is dim sum. Waiters cart around stacks of steamer baskets or small plates of food for customers to choose. Dim sum includes dishes based on meat, seafood, vegetables, as well as desserts and fruit. The term yum cha, literally, drink tea, is synonymous with eating dim sum for Hong Kong people. It is customary for families to eat dim sum on weekends. Includes Cart noodle Su mei Cha su baau Xiaomai Har Gao Crispy fried chicken Seafood bird's nest Pork knuckles and ginger stew Cuisine, Buddhist This cuisine is essentially vegetarian specialties using tofu, wheat gluten, mushroom and other non-animal sourced ingredients. Despite the name, the cuisine is enjoyed by many non-Buddhists. Hong Kong's vegetarian dishes, as part of the Cantonese branch of Chinese vegetarian cuisine, puts emphasis on meat analog substitutes to the point where it can taste and look identical to real meat, often by using deep-fried gluten and tofu to recreate meat-like textures, and heavy flavored sauces are prepared for the dishes. Even committed meat eaters enjoy the cuisine regularly. Unlike Western countries, vegetarian diet in Hong Kong is not considered a commitment. This cuisine is also served in some temples and monasteries like the Po Lin Monastery. The vegetarian cuisine served in some Taoist temples or monasteries, such as the Yuan Yuan Institute, can also be classified under this category. Includes Manto Buddha's delight non Cantonese Chinese vegetarian cuisine is extremely rare in Hong Kong, although there are some isolated temples and restaurants offering Shanghaiese style vegetarian cuisine. Compared with Cantonese style vegetarian cuisine, dishes are less oily and some food items favored by non Cantonese Chinese, such as bamboo shoot, picked vegetables, are often used. Meat analogues are prominently featured, albeit expressed in differently manners from Cantonese vegetarian cuisine. Cuisine, Hakka This form of cooking style from the Hakka people originally came from Guangdong and Fujian in southeastern China. The style uses dried and preserved ingredients. Pork is by far the most common meat in the style. Includes Poon Choi Salt baked chicken Cuisine, Beijing this cuisine has one of the longest histories in terms of style development. 
The variety and complexity provide a glimpse of what imperial Chinese emperors might have eaten at one time. Exotic dishes in this category often require a considerable wait time before it is served. Includes Peking duck Hot and sour soup Cuisine, Japanese Sushi is the most common association made to Japanese cuisine in Hong Kong. From small cafe shops to conveyor belt sushi restaurants to restaurants specializing in tapanyaki, Japanese-style cooking is fairly popular. Depending on the local, many sushi-centric restaurants are designed to mirror close to those in Japan. Includes Sushi with wasabi Okinawa soba Cuisine, Indian and Pakistani Hong Kong has a sizable South Asian community. Unlike in the Indian subcontinent, where food may separate into regional variants, the Chinese population in Hong Kong overwhelmingly identifies Indian cuisine with curry spices. Because meat is always expected, it can also be said that South Asian cuisine in Hong Kong leans toward Northern Indian and Pakistani styles. Includes Curry chicken with biryani Curry beef with naan Hot pot This hot pot cuisine, known as Daa Bin Lu, Chinese, Da Bian Lu Pinyin, Da Bin Lu, Jiyutping, Daa Tu Bin One Lu Four, in Cantonese, is unique in the sense that everyone is a chef. A boiling pot of water, soup based, and customers can choose their preferred soup taste, is placed in the center of the table, and essentially everyone boils their own ingredients in that pot. This is highly popular and is usually accompanied with a bottle of cold beer or soda. This style is common during frigid winter times, since people are essentially huddled around a fire. This format is also considered entertaining. Includes Beef, pork, chicken, crab, prawns, and clams, Chinese cabbage, carrots, and lettuce, fish balls and beef balls, tofu. Hong Kong style drinks Non alcoholic beverages are served at restaurants of all classes, but most notably at Cha Chan Teng, a unique kind of restaurants in Hong Kong. Since drink recipes are not franchise-based, most drinks can vary depending on the restaurant. Rock sugar and syrup are commonly used to add sweetness. Some beverages that was originated in the tea culture of Taiwan, such as bubble tea and honey green tea, had been brought to Hong Kong and become part of Hong Kong's beverage culture. Includes Hong Kong-style milk tea Red bean ice Soy milk Sugarcane juice Chinese tea A large wide variety of tea leaves and combinations are used for Chinese tea. In the 1950s and 1960s, citizens would go to tea houses accompanied by their pet birds locked in a bird cage. Noon tea was an essential break in the middle of the day. Tea nowadays goes along with any meal. Includes Chrysanthemum tea Bole 24 flavors Western styles Hong Kong style Western cuisine Dishes derived from cuisines of the Western world, but not classified into a particular country, belong in this category. Outside Hong Kong, it is termed Hong Kong-style Western cuisine or Kanto Western cuisine. Small restaurants that offer Sai Chan are usually Cha Chan Teng at the popular end or Sai Chan restaurants at the more upscale range. Restaurants that have come to expect tourists will likely offer both East and West menus. Most dishes are localized with Chinese tastes and contain Chinese and specifically Cantonese influences, such as steak marinated in soy sauce, served in a soy sauce-dominated gravy, and with fried rices on the side, or pasta, includes Macaroni in broth with fried egg and sausage 
Fried chicken wings Swiss sauce chicken wings Instant noodles with sausages French toast, called Western toast. Shi duo shi sai du si, shortened from fa lan shi duo shi fat lan sai du si, transliteration of French toast, in Chinese. Hong Kong style borscht soup. Western fast food Western style fast food are essentially replicas of U.S. or European franchised fast food restaurant models. McDonald S is likely the most common. Others include KFC, Hardy, S formerly Pizza Hut, and many more. Includes hamburger, Southern fried chicken, hot dog, pizza, Western pastry. The general association made is that Western pastries are much sweeter and richer in flavor than typical Chinese pastry. Some Eastern-style pastries are similar to their Western counterpart, while others are modified by reducing the amount of cheese, cream and other Western ingredients. Chinese bakery shops often sell both Eastern and Western goods. Maxim's is one of the most popular franchises, found in nearly every MTR subway stations. Deliference is another outlet offering Western style sandwiches. Includes Donut, Fruit tart, Croissant. Cuisine, American. These are standard meals taken from the U.S., except with a significant reduction in usage of butter. For example, an order of mashed potato in Hong Kong will seem relatively plain and light compared to its U.S. counterpart. Popcorn in Hong Kong is heavily sweetened, more resembling caramelized pre-packaged popcorn, such as Cracker Jacks. Steak can be classified as Sai Chan Western cuisine, or American food. Includes Sirloin steak Buffalo wings Clam chowder. Cuisine, Italian This cuisine is usually considered upscale, following a three course antipasto, primo, and seconda format. Italian food in Hong Kong is generally considered more modern Italian, instead of being authentic traditional Italian, though, if one wanted to find a restaurant serving a specific style, such as Venetian, it is possible. Drinks and desserts are often mixed with Chinese options. The main course itself will lean closer to American Italian. Fat Angelo's is an example of a Hong Kong style Italian restaurant. Includes Pasta with veal, Saltimbocca alla Romana, Risotto. Cuisine, French Common French dishes can be found in Hong Kong along with delicacies. Many of the French desserts like creme brulee have been modified into some form of pudding Chinese, budayan bodin, to be served with Chinese dishes. So aside from being a standalone style, influence of French cuisine in Asian dishes is apparent. Includes Crepes Lamb fillet Pan fried duck breast Western drinks Beverages from the West have been deeply integrated into the food culture. The line between Eastern and Western drinks are blurred to the point where many westernized drinks can be found in Chinese-style restaurants. Especially in Cha Chan Tang, they have essentially become just another item on the menu. British malt drinks have become closely associated with breakfast in Hong Kong. Western drinks include milk, smoothies, berry-filled drinks and so on. Ovaltine Horlicks Cola Hong Kong-style milk tea Coffee Franchises coffee chains have become more popular in recent years, with the arrival of Pacific Coffee and Starbucks. UCC Ueshima Coffee Co. and Polka Cafe are among the first to introduce siphon coffee to Hong Kong. 
This brewing method has only become more familiar to the public after the establishment of Zine Coffee, a siphon speciality coffee shop. While independent coffee shops do exist, franchise stores are often situated in favorable locations that cater to foreign workers. Espresso Iced coffee Frappuccino Siphon coffee Oyster and wine Oyster and wine bars have been blooming in recent years. Most of those shops are located in Happy Valley and Sim Sha Sui. Locales Major food districts are Causeway Bay, Kowloon City, Lan Kwai Fong, Sim Sha Sui and Soho. Stanley, with its expatriate population, has many seaside pubs and European restaurants. Sai Kung, Lama Island, Lao Fao Shan and Lei Yu Moon serve seafood. Old fishing towns such as Chung Chao and Tai O also have many original restaurants. Most pubs and bars are at Lan Kwai Fong, Lockhart Road and Jaffe Road of Wan Chai, Canton Road, Sim Sha Sui East, and around Prince Edward MTR Station in Mong Kok. Since 1991, Oktoberfest has been held annually on Canton Road. Hong Kong restaurants and chefs Pierre, Mandarin Oriental Hotel, by Pierre Gagnier Amber, the landmark Mandarin Oriental Hotel, by Richard Ekibis Nobu Hong Kong at the Intercontinental Hotel, by Nobu Matsuhisa Phuc Lam Moon, traditional Cantonese and dim sum restaurant See also Barbecue in Hong Kong Cantonese cuisine Makanese cuisine Culture of Hong Kong Upstairs cafes in Hong Kong List of Chinese dishes Private kitchen Hong Kong Chefs Association References External links Gourmet Paradise – Hong Kong Tourism Board